Hi, I figured I'd put an intro on this video. My name is Michelle and I have been eating a carnivore or ketovore or dirty carnivore diet uh, for the last 10 months. I had healed a lot of my chronic health issues, um, including, you know, kind of non-specific joint pain, muscle pain, um, GERD had been resolved. I had gotten almost off my medications. I had cut them in half twice for gastric reflux, um, symptoms of IBS, lots of health issues had resolved, um, lost about 20 pounds without even working out at all, was feeling really good, had lots of energy, had started walking every day, and then I found a lump in my breast um, in June, which was probably there all along, and as I lost a little bit of weight in that area, it became more prominent, had it checked out, and was diagnosed with metastatic triple negative breast cancer. Um, they stage it stage two or three. So now I am on this journey of continuing my carnivore, using my carnivore diet as part of my protocols. I am treating this cancer both with conventional chemotherapy. Um, we're doing chemotherapy first, which will be followed by surgery and possibly radiation, but also with alternative supplementation and, um, eating of an extremely low carb carnivore diet um, as well, staying in a ther state of therapeutic ketosis to starve my cancer. So this is my channel. I'm uh, documenting my journey as I do these things. And I hope you find, you know, this helpful. If you're also on a cancer journey, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I'm really new at this YouTube thing. Um, hopefully I'll get better at looking at the camera instead of myself while I talk and editing it better as time goes on. But really, I just wanted to start this channel as a video journal to keep track of not only what I'm doing to take care of myself, but also, um, you know, hopefully help others know what to expect as they're starting their journeys as well. I'm uh, seven weeks into chemotherapy this week. Getting ready for chemo today, eating some breakfast. It's about, it's just about 10 o'clock. And so far today, I've just had coffee and I'm gonna have some hard boiled eggs and some bacon that's in here. I'm gonna eat this now so I don't bring it with me. And then I'm gonna bring some um, salami and cheese and some carnivore crisps with me today to eat. Here today for chemo number seven and I, just got my pre-medication, the port is in. Uh, got the Roxy and one dexamethasone, which is four milligrams. And I just made myself some detox tea in there, soaking. And I have to wait a half hour. Today I have Detruda first, and then Taxol, and then um, the Carboplatin. This is my view today. My nurse's name is Alyssa, and I am in seat number 14. And you can sort of see outside a little bit today. So today, I had a reaction. I got all itchy. See the hive there? I had a couple, a couple hives on my neck, and it was all itchy. You can see that it's red here. It was all itchy around here and in my legs and my arms. So they stopped the Texel and um, I'm getting fluids now and I got some Benadryl and another steroid. And their plan is to restart the Texel once I'm back to normal. So it is the day after chemo and I had that interesting reaction yesterday, but got you know, a bunch of extra injections, extra steroids. And what I noticed is uh, definitely the higher dose of steroids raises my blood sugar, which is interesting. I noticed that last night when I got home, I tested and it was 129, which is, I think, I don't think it's been that high since I started the carnivore diet. But um, this morning I feel pretty good. We're out for our walk a little later in the day. I did sleep in a little bit because I had a very broken sleep um, with the higher dose of steroids. I don't sleep as well, but I feel pretty good. Oh, there's a dog over there. 
please hold. Okay. I just wanted to walk by. There was a dog off leash in someone's driveway and I've got my dog with me. So I wanted to make sure I was paying attention while we walked by. Cause if I'm not paying attention to her, I can't expect her to pay attention to me. So we're uh, turning the corner now. They're still out there. They have their dog off leash in the driveway. She, the woman actually put the dog in her car as we walked by. So we've walked by that dog before and she tends to bark at us, which gets my dog a little riled up sometimes. She's there, she's gonna pee here in the corner because I didn't let her stop to pee the whole time we were walking by. Anyway. Oh, another dog. This one's in the house. Just stay with me. That's fine. That's right, you watch me. Let's walk, keep walking. Keep moving. This way. You can sniff now. Keep going. Good girl. You're good. You're good. Yes. Yes. A good girl. Hi everyone. So I'm back from my walk. Just wanted to give you a little update. Uh, because I haven't done an update uh, last week, I was I had some days where I just kind of felt like it all caught up with me. I was really tired. I'm just still trying to figure out, you know, how to take a, a laxative to mitigate the side effects that cause constipation, but not take too much that makes me not be able to leave the house. So. Uh, there's that and then the fatigue kind of hit me a couple of days last week as well where I just needed to lay down like several times a day um, and not necessarily sleep but I just couldn't do one other thing but then I had good days like on Friday I cleaned the whole house I felt like energized and I vacuumed I washed the floors I cleaned the bathroom did a few loads of laundry like I felt pretty good but I I caught up on those chores instead of doing an update for you so, um, but today I feel pretty good. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of my walk, I was, I think the steroids are, you know, I didn't sleep very well last night, but I feel pretty good today. So we went for our walk, which made my dog very happy because she's been missing that. Um, we didn't go for walks every day last week. So, but that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good overall. I'm still able to do most of the things that I need to do. Um, I guess I haven't missed a hockey game or anything, thank goodness, and I hope I don't miss any of my daughter's hockey games. Um, I was working more. I did a few video consults last week and, um, and a video lesson. I haven't really been able to do a lot of work in person. It seems like Every time I have a lesson scheduled in person, either I'm really not feeling well that day or um, it's raining <laughs> and there are outdoor lessons that we've scheduled to work on walking, leash walking and such. So um, so a lot of, I, I think I've only, since this whole thing started, I want to say I've had like a handful, like maybe five in-person lessons or classes. Um, no, probably more than that, because I had the classes in the beginning where I wasn't really wasn't having any side effects yet at all. So anyway, I'm feeling good. Um, gonna do. I'm gonna try and make this um, ricotta cheesecake. It's just ricotta cheese and eggs, and I want to see how that comes out. So I'll try and video that when I do it. I have the ingredients out on the counter now. Um, last two days I've been eating. I made a big pot of bone broth. So we got some soup bones with um, a lot of meat on them and I added extra stew meat as well into that and it was just delicious. So that's really what I've been eating. It's just about gone now. 
um, had my eggs and bacon and some leftover meatballs and sausage from Cedar Hill Farm. And that's about it. Yeah, that's my update. <laughs>